when they do start working on the bridge, they're going to have to close it. And for a lot of the people who live around here, that means some alternate routes, either going out that way toward Blue Creek Road or in the other direction toward Laurel. And while they say that that will be an inconvenience, they're okay with it if the bridge needs repairs. Duck Creek Bridge is a key route for many who live south of the Yellowstone River. It's very convenient. It's a, it's, we're, we're pretty lucky. But Dr. Patrick Dewey says he will have to come up with a new plan when he is on call at Billings Clinic. And it will mean changes for his family with school and other activities. And biggest thing is my parents are moving in from out of town and yeah, it's going to be a real bummer, honestly, to have them, have them make it difficult for them to get here. Some have brought up that it will take longer for emergency responders and school buses, along with the extra expense of more fuel. Others say it will be okay. My friend just told me that we could probably go back towards Laurel and then go back down the frontage road, so that will make it a lot easier. Highway 212 in Laurel and Blue Creek Road across to South Billings Boulevard are the other possible routes, and Yellowstone County Commissioners will vote on Tuesday on possibly paving a 4.3-mile stretch of South Keller Road to make it easier to get to Blue Creek Road. It's probably going to cut about 25 miles off of that response and probably about 10 to 12 if you went up to Laurel and across that road and down the Thiel Road and across. Tim Miller, Yellowstone County Public Works Director, says the piers on the bridge need to be replaced. In 23, we got a notice from MDT that the bridge crossing Yellowstone River on Duck Creek Road was in critical scour condition. And we have one pier that actually is eroded enough to where it's exposing what they call the seal. He says it's quite an engineering plan with piers going down to the bedrock. The bridge will not have to be moved during the retrofit, but it will have to be closed for 30 to 60 days for each of the four piers. Let's get her fixed. We'll get through it. If they make the road, the bridge safe, I think it'll be worth it. And the construction could start in the fall or early spring. In Billings, David J, MTN News.